And welcome back to the Dawn Show. It's not a St. Patty's Day party without, of course, Irish dancing. And here from the Pride of Erin School of Irish Dance is Mary Grace Cahill and some of the dancers. Welcome. Thank you for having us, Dawn. Welcome, girls. We'll see you dance in just a minute. But first of all, tell me a little bit. Now, you've been dancing since how long? I've been dancing for 17 years. I started when I was five years old with the Pride of Erin School of Irish Dance. Beth Timney has different locations. She teaches out of Montgomery County, Philadelphia, and Bucks County as well. Um, and these girls will perform for you today to showcase what they have. Okay. Tell me a little bit, um, because even though it's a lot of fun, and we talk about the luck of the Irish and the leprechauns and all the magic of, of St. Patty's Day, the truth is that with the dance, it's not all just glitzy dresses and wigs and performance. There's actually a rich history and, and actually a survival of the Irish people who were uh, starved by the English, enslaved by the English, and that's why so many Irish, uh, as Martin was saying, we have more Ir Irish in America than in Ireland. But the dance is representative of that, isn't it? Of a time of being suppressed and enslaved yes. and surviving. Yeah, very much so. When the girls perform for you today, you'll notice they'll have a very nice posture. Their shoulders will be back with a tight upper body. And this is due to the persecution that they went through. When so they, in other words, the English said, you can't uh, dance or move your arms. Right. So that's why we see the stiff upper body. Right, they wouldn't allow it. And back then, um, a lot of times the windows would be very high in the bars. So that's why they have a stiff upper body because when the English would look in through the windows, it would look like they were walking from point A to point B and not dancing around. Which is pretty amazing. Yes. So what are the uh, young ladies here gonna perform for us now? Um, today they performed, a, uh, they have made up a five hand for you guys of an Irish reel. Okay. Yes. Okay. And they have a lot of competitions throughout the year. It's not just, I know you're busy with St. Patty's Day parades and all of that, but this is a sport where there's a lot of practice that goes into it and right. competitions around the country and even in the world. Right. This is obviously our busiest month. They have many performances. They'll probably do about 20 this weekend, but these girls practice very hard. Pretty much every day, they go to two, three classes a week, one hour, two hours each and every week. So they put in a lot of time to get where they are today. All right. Well, we've, we've had you stand here so <laughs> so perfectly. Yes. So you're going to perform right now for us. What is it? They're going to perform a five hand for you. A five hand? Yes. All right. Well, we'll move away okay. and uh, let's take it away. All you right. ready? Yes.
big applause, the, the, the pride of Erin, Irish Dance School. It's so good to have you here. Um, you know, I want to ask you quickly, um, Mary Grace, yes. so I noticed like with Jackie, she's wearing a different shoe, like a tap shoe. It's like right. tap and ballet. What is that all about? We have two different types of shoes. We have our soft shoe and our hard shoe. Great job. Thank you. <laughs> These girls have been here all morning practicing. You have amazing stamina. We'll talk a little bit uh, with award-winning Jackie, and we'll talk with the girls a little bit and more of the history of Irish dance and how it's truly uh, an athletic endeavor, if you haven't noticed. Be right back. All right, we're getting you moving here. Now, here now with Jacqueline Timoney, senior dancer from the Pride of Erin School of Irish Dance. You're going to show me some dance moves? Yeah. How long have you been dancing? I've been dancing since I was in my since mom's <laughs> stomach. Like, <laughs> and this is a family tradition for you, your yeah. mom, grandmother, right? Yeah, it's been going on and on and on. And you've competed around the country and, in fact, around the world against 400 girls in mm -hmm. Ireland. And it's crazy. <laughs> but we should point out that this is a girls and boy. this is a mm -hmm. sport, and there are scholarships available, yeah. and it's serious business to you. Yes, I love it. I can't live without it. <laughs> <laughs> and how many times a week do you practice dancing, Jackie? I practice every single day for at least two to three hours, because if not, you don't want to lose any of the ability that you have. Oh, that's amazing. So what, what move are you girls going to show me? We're going to teach you the first jig set. Okay. It's like the traditional thing when you think of our stand. Okay. So it starts with a point. A point. And you bring it to your knee. Okay. And you put it in the back. Oh. One, two, two three, 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 four. four. So you do that three times. Okay. Ready? Three times Toe. is good luck. Knee. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One more time. Toe. Toe. Knee. One, One two, two, three, three four. four. And you do a point and back. Point. Now comes the tricky back. part. One, two, three, four. And that's the whole thing. <laughs> so should we put it to music? How would we do it quickly? Ready? Now I'm gonna embarrass yeah, myself. Faster. Ready? Toe, knee, one, two, three, four. Toe, knee, one, two, three, four. Toe, <laughs> knee, one, two, three, four. Point and back and one, two, three, four. <laughs> it's all good, right? We'll all practice together. <laughs> so what do you what do you love about the celebration of your heritage and camaraderie with all different age girls and boys boys dance too yeah what do I you love, love about it i just love getting to meet everybody especially like all the shows and performances that we do we like doing the nursing homes because it's good to see all the happy faces on all the elders and they get so excited to see us all and you love the costumes which yeah. really uh, are were born in america mm -hmm. this was not a traditional irish yeah. But now it's accepted around mm -hmm. the world with the gorgeous costumes. And you have like the Clada symbols, symbolism and that yeah. sort of thing. All right, I'm gonna let you girls dance. We're, we're gonna let you take it away, all right, Jackie? Okay. Thank you so much. And thank you so much to Mary Grace, who's here in the studio, and Martin from Dublin. I know it's gonna be a big day. Thank you so much. And I'll let you take it away. Happy St. Patty's Day.